Okay, lesson one, I want to get you going with the rest of the pentatonic scale patterns. I've given you a bunch of time up until now to really work hard on the main pentatonic pattern and the second pattern, the one with BB's box in it. I hope that you've really put in a lot of time practicing those scales up and down the neck in a bunch of rounds, practicing each of those scale patterns with a whole bunch of the different exercises I've shown you. You're going to need to apply all those exercises to these next patterns. You want to have all five patterns so that you can play the whole length of the fretboard in a given key. So if you're in the key of A and you can just fly up and down the neck going from one pattern to the next to the next, we'll do a bunch of that this week. All right? So here we go. The third pentatonic pattern. Again, I'm playing in the key of A, basically A minor. You could call it C major if you want to think about relative major and minor. The third pattern is going to start here at the 10th fret. I'm going to play 2-4. I'm using my second finger and fourth finger. And then 2-4 on the next string and 2-4 on the next string. Now the automatic question is, why didn't I use 1-3? Well, because on the next string, I need my first finger back here. Okay? And I don't want to be out of position when I get to that note. Okay? I hate being out of position. However, on this next string, we then have to take that first finger and move it up a fret. So on the second string, I'm at the 10th fret, and I've got 1-4 and then 1-3 over here. So the way I practice this pattern is like this. Okay? You want to work this pattern back and forth. course you want to start applying the exercises to it. And so on. How about this one? Okay. All the different exercises I've shown you, you want to apply them to each pattern. And you want to do each of these patterns at every fret. So really you'd take this pattern and you'd move it down the neck and you'd play it at the first fret, the second fret, the third fret, and you do that with the straight pattern, you do that with each of the exercises until you just know the pattern inside and out, okay? All right, with this pattern, I will admit that when I'm playing the pattern in, in a real lead guitar application, I typically do shift over to first and third finger on those first three strings if I want to do that, okay? If I want to use those notes, I won't necessarily or normally play them with second, fourth finger. I'll play them with first and third finger. But I will do that because I won't go beyond this string when I'm soloing in this pattern. I won't go to that next string where my first finger needs to be back. I'll tend to slide up or down into another pattern. And that's just a very common thing that a lot of players do. Okay. Still, I want you to think of this as 2-4 pattern. You practice it with 2 and 4 because you want to get really good at the 2 and 4. They need more work. Okay. The next pattern, the fourth pentatonic scale pattern. In the key of A, it's going to start here at the 12th fret. Okay. And this one's really important. This one is sort of a mirror image, an octave higher of our main pattern. A lot of times when you're learning songs, especially if you're learning hard rock stuff, a lot of solos will jump back and forth from the main pattern to this fourth pattern an octave higher, rather than going from the main pattern to the main pattern again way up high, because that can be a little tricky sometimes. There's so many songs that will jump from the main pentatonic pattern up into this fourth pattern, okay? So you need to know this pattern. All right, here we go. So we're going to go... 12th fret. We're going to play 1-4, 1-4, 1-3, 1-3, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2-4, 2
All right, that's where the idea of the puzzle locking exercises comes from. All right, don't forget to work on each of these patterns with the puzzle locking exercises either. All right, so here we go. This last pattern is really the most symmetrical of all the patterns. It starts out with two four, two four, and then one four, one four, and then two four, two four again. Okay, so once again, you want to work on it. on it up and down across the strings and back and you want to work on it at every fret and you want to apply all the exercises to it and you want to do all these puzzle locking all these puzzle locking exercises between each of these patterns I spent time in my life doing every different combination of these five patterns as a puzzle locking exercise all right in other words from the main pattern to two from the main pattern to three from the main pattern to four and so on from two to three, from two to four. You want to do that if you really want to advance on guitar, all right? This stuff will really, really get you to know the entire fretboard. And then, of course, at that point where we've just left off with that fifth pattern, it is now sharing notes with the main pentatonic pattern, which now repeats. So now we've gone from the main pattern at the fifth fret all the way to the main pattern at the seventh fret. The patterns are just repeating now. Think of this as sort of a big loop, okay? That should point out another thing to you. If I were to be playing the main pentatonic pattern down here, well, what's the pattern behind it? I got all those extra notes back there. Well, the fifth pattern is right behind it, okay? And the fourth pattern's right behind that. In this key, it happens to have open strings. Okay? But when you get used to all five of these patterns, and especially after you've done a whole bunch of the puzzle locking exercise stuff, it then doesn't matter what key you're playing in. Bang, you just slide that main pattern to wherever you need it. And you know where all the other patterns are. Your hand will know where the patterns are. It's really a cool thing. I don't think about it much at all. My hand just goes there, okay? Because I did so many of these exercises, all right? So there, you've got the third, fourth, and fifth pattern. You've got all five of the pentatonic patterns now. Work them to death. This has been a 12-week course. We're only on like week nine here, I believe. But uh, just, you know, you're going to be working these patterns for the next couple of years if you're really motivated. So just keep going. Keep going for it. Keep doing it over and over and over again. All right?